Hey everybody, welcome to the Jada and Stitches show. Last week we made some cute little miniature winter hat ornaments to hang on the tree. I love little crocheted ornaments, I love making them this time of year, and they make such cute little present toppers or stocking stuffers. Well, a lot of you liked the little hat so much you were hoping for something else to kind of go with a the theme. <laughs> So today we're going to make a little tiny pair of miniature mittens to go along with them. These sweet little things are about double the amount of yarn required for a hat. So you're going to want about 65 yards or 20 grams per set of mittens. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, we'll head on over to the craft table and we will stitch up a miniature pair of mittens together. In order to make a pair of little tiny Christmas mittens, <laughs> we're going to use a size 4 medium weight yarn. You can also use a size 5 chunky bulky weight yarn, but we're going to use the same hook. You need very small amounts of yarn for this project. You need 65 yards or 20 grams for a pair of mittens, so that covers both mittens. We're going to need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook we're using today is a 5.5 millimeter, also known as a 7 in the US and the UK, but you can use a different hook if you feel it's more comfortable for you. Gauge doesn't matter in this pattern because it's just a little ornament. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, take a moment to click that button and the bell so you never miss another episode. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. We're going to make two mittens absolutely identical. So there's no left or right for this pattern. So once you've made one, you just make the second one exactly the same way. We're gonna start from the cuff and work our way up and we're gonna add our little thumb on last. We're gonna start with a slip knot. We're going to chain four to begin. And we're using the single crochet stitch throughout this project. We're going to skip over the first chain from the hook, find the second, and single crochet into it. You're going to single crochet into the next two chains as well. And at the end of row one, you'll have three stitches. You're going to have three stitches in each of the 12 rows that makes up the little cuff of our mitten. At the end of every row, you're going to chain one and turn. And for the duration of the cuff, we're using the back loops only so that we can get a little bit of a ribbed look happening. So you always skip your turning chain. And instead of using the whole stitch, you only use the loop that's furthest away from you. So the back loop only. Single crochet as normal. Find the next stitch. Find the back loop of it. Single crochet as normal. Find the last stitch, use the back loop, and single crochet. That's row two. You'll still have three stitches at the end of that row. One of them might be a little bit small towards the end, so make sure you always have three stitches in every row. Chain one, turn, and repeat for a 12 rows in total. So always skip your turning chain. We're using the back loops only for the cuff part. So each of these 12 rows is made using the back loops only. Chain one turn at the end of every row and work back loops only single crochet for 12 rows in total. At the end of row 12 you should have something that looks like this. You can see those nice little ridges showing up every other row. We're going to chain one so if you haven't already chained one to turn just chain one now. You want to have your three stitches and a chain one. We're not turning, we're just going to bring our two short edges together and we're going to create a seam by slip stitching using the back loops of our 12th row and the corresponding foundation chain of our foundation chain row. So you might want to do this in pieces. Pick up the back loop of that first stitch and then you can push it through the foundation chain opposite it and just slip stitch. And then we're going to do it twice more. Pick up the next back loop, push it through the corresponding foundation chain and slip stitch. And one more. Pick up the back loop, right through that foundation chain and slip stitch. So three slip stitches creates a nice little 
seam, and that's the cuff of our mitten created. We're going to chain one now, and we're going to work a row of single crochet around the top edge of our mitten cuff. That's to establish the upper part of our mitten. So this is row one of the upper part of our mitten. We're going to work a single crochet in the same place that we just chained out of. So right pretty much at the top of that seam, work a little single crochet in there. And at the end of this row, we're going to have 13 single crochets. So you're going to work a single crochet into the edge of each row all the way around, which would be 12, plus the single crochet that we worked into the edge of the seam. So we should have 13. Now having said that, it's not super important that you have the right number of stitches. So if you're off one or two, don't worry about it because this isn't a gauge specific project. But you do want to aim for 13. So just work a single crochet in the edge. So there's like the edge of one stitch. I try to do the same ones every single time. And then this little space over here. And I do it in pairs so that I know that I'm getting a single crochet for every row. So I use that little tight, tiny top loop and then I skip over to that little space. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So at the end of that first row of the upper part of our mitten, you should have 13 single crochet. That's one in the seam and one worked in the edge of all, each of those 12 rows from that cuff. We're not going to join our row, we're just going to work in the round. So no joining, you'll work your last single crochet and then work the first single crochet of your second row directly into that first one. Just single crochet in each of those stitches all the way around for row two. And if you have trouble, first of all, there's your seam, so that should give you an idea of where you're at. That's your starting spot, or you can just count to 13. At the end of row two, we should still have 13 stitches. We're going to work a row of increasing now. We're going to go from 13 stitches to 17. So we're going to increase four times evenly around the edge of our mitten. So we're going to work two single crochet into the first stitch. and then a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Single cro two single crochet, I should say, into the next stitch, and single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So two, one, one, two, one, one. Repeat that twice more, and I'll hook back up with you. Once you've worked that little increase pattern of two, one, one, twice more, that brings us back to the 13th, or what was the 13th stitch. We're just going to single crochet into that, and now we should have 17 stitches all the way around. So it's not a perfect, perfectly even increase, but it doesn't have to be. You just want to have increased four times somewhat evenly around your mitten. So that is 17 stitches we're at now, and for row four, we're going to create the little thumb. So we're just going to single crochet into the next stitch. That will bring us somewhere close to our seam, which is sort of the side or the, um, I guess sort of the side of our mitten, doesn't really matter, but it's a nice little visual reference. We're going to chain three. This is what, how we create our little thumb hole. We're going to skip over three stitches and then single crochet into the fourth stitch. So that's our little thumb hole made. <laughs> it's so small and cute. We're going to single crochet into each of the rest of those 12 stitches that are left in the row. Or if you have trouble kind of keeping track, just single crochet up to the stitch that's before our little thumb hole. So right up here, you'll stop right here. So that was row four. We've created a little thumb hole and now we're all the way back around. For rows five through eight, so the next four rows, you're just gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You wanna make sure you get across those three chains. So you can maybe get the first chain, single crochet into each of the next two chains. So make sure you get a single crochet into each of those three chains and then you can go back to regular single crocheting in all of those stitches. You should still have 17 stitches in each row, but like I said, if you're off one 
Either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still going to look like a mitten. Just single crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're not joining our rows, we're just working in the round. At the end of row 8, just park your last stitch right above that little seam there or just off to the side of your little thumb hole opening. And it's an easy count. So there's the first row of single crochet that we worked across those sort of chains that made our little thumb hole in the first place. So there's row 5, row 6, row 7, row 8. Now we want to close in the top of our little mitten. So we're going to work a decrease pattern now all the way around the top of our mitten. We're going to work the first two stitches by single crocheting them together. So you're going to pick up a loop in each of those two stitches and then yarn over and pull back through everything. So single crochet two stitches together, single crochet once into the stitch next to that. Single crochet two stitches together, single crochet once into the stitch after that. So single crochet two together, single crochet, single crochet two together, single crochet. You're going to repeat that little pattern three more times. Once you've repeated that little decrease pattern five times in total, that brings you back to just a couple stitches back from where your thumb hole is or from where your seam is. Uh, it's an odd number of stitches that we're dealing with, so we're not too worried about it working out perfectly. So once you've repeated that five times, we're just going to single crochet two stitches together all the way around six times in total. So you should have if, if your stitches worked out the way mine did, you should have 12 stitches left at the end of row 9. So if you single crochet two stitches together, six times all the way around, you'll be down to six stitches. But like I said, exact stitch count doesn't matter here. What we want to do is just close in the top of our little mitten. Once you've single crocheted two stitches together all the way around six times, you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch to close off row 10. And you're going to snip yourself a little bit of yarn. So not too much, you don't need very much. Fasten off. Pull that nice and tight and then you can grab your yarn needle and we're going to thread up that little tail and we're just going to cinch up the top of our little mitten. So you're just going to weave your needle in and out through those six stitches at the top of your little mitten. It should be a pretty small hole to begin with. Just pull it nice and tight. Maybe just run your needle through a few of those little loops that stick up across the top just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. There we go. Then you're going to take your needle, poke it through to the inside of your mitten. Careful not to grab any of the inside of your mitten. You just sort of turn it inside out. And then we're just going to knot on the inside of the mitten once or twice. And then you can weave in that tail underneath some of those stitches. So back and forth through some of those stitches, just so you know it's not going to come undone. And then you can trim any excess. Poke your mitten back so that it's right side out. And find your little thumb hole. Here it is here. Ba -bum. We're going to put our little thumb on now. So we're going to grab our yarn. We're going to start with a slip knot. And we're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch in that first of three skip stitches back from row four. So I want you to take a good look at your thumb hole because it is a small space and it might help to kind of have a bit of a game plan before we add our mitten. So there's three stitches that run along the bottom. Those were the ones that were skipped. And there's three chains that run across the top. So the underside of your three chains. Then there's the side of a stitch on either side of your thumb hole opening. So three stitches 
three chain bottoms, and two side pieces. So you're going to have eight stitches in total worked all the way around that opening. So you can just slip your hook into that first stitch, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and single crochet in the same stitch that you joined in. Now you want to single crochet in each of those next two stitches. And it's a very small little space, so take your time. There's the side of a stitch, so you can sort of see there's that stitch there. There's also like a little space. You can use the size, the space or the side of the stitch. You want to work a fourth stitch in there. And now you've got the underside of those three chains to work. So you hop over, grab that first chain, single crochet into each of those chains. So it's just the underside of those chains. There's the third one. And then you've got one sort of side piece left. Just pick anything, this, the space, the side of the stitch, doesn't matter. Work your eighth stitch in there. So you should have eight single crochet worked all the way around the opening of that thumb hole. We're not joining our rows. You're just going to work a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So find that first stitch, single crochet directly into it. Count to eight twice so that you've worked a single crochet into each stitch all the way around for two more rows in total. Three rows of single crochet worked in the round. Looks something like this. I've got a little bit of a fluff hanging. I'm going to take care of that later. But you've got eight stitches and a very small little space. It's about to get a whole lot smaller. We're going to single crochet two stitches together four times. So we're going to go from a stitch count of eight down to four. It's a very small little spot. So just take your time. Try to keep those stitches as tight as possible and single crochet two stitches together four times in total. If you've managed to do that, you should have a very small little space left so you can, actually we want a slip stitch to finish off that row. So find the next stitch and slip stitch. Give yourself a little bit of tail, not too much. Fasten off, and then same thing as the top of our mitten, we're just going to weave that tail in and out a couple times through some of those little stitches. There's really not much of a space to close up here. There we go. And then you can just push your needle through to the inside of your mitten. Try not to poke the rest of your mitten with it. pull it inside out, make a little knot on the inside of your thumb, and you can weave that tail in, trim any excess, and then you can turn your mitten right side out again. Once you've got your mitten turned right side out, you can just poke your baby finger up into that thumb to kind of form it into a nice little thumb shape, and go ahead and make a second mitten exactly the same way. You just have to sort of where you would fold it for left or right, you just sort of change where you fold the mitten. So the mitten is fully reversible. You don't have to work a left thumb hole or a right thumb hole. And now we're going to string them together. You want to cut yourself a length of yarn about 10 inches long. You can also use ribbon or cord or if you wanted to sort of make the hangers a little prettier. You're going to thread up one end and you're just going to tie it, so knot it, leave yourself a little bit of tail so that you can weave that in on the inside of your mitten just so it looks neat. You're going to tie a little knot, kind of like you were a kid and you were stringing your mittens together. So a little knot on one side, and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other mitten. So try to get sort of, whoops, pick a little spot so that the little tie is exactly opposite each other. There we go. Again, leave a little tail so that you can weave it in on the inside of your mitten so that it looks nice and neat. Just knot it a couple times. 
just enough so that you know it's not going to come undone. There we go. And then you can hang your little mittens on the tree, but you can also take a moment to just weave that little excess tail up the inside of some of those stitches on the inside of your mitten, just so it looks nice and tidy. And there you go! A little pair of mittens to hang on the tree, to top off a present, maybe hang on somebody's Christmas stocking. They're so cute. They're a sweet little addition to our Christmas outdoor miniature clothing Christmas ornament theme. <laughs> they go nicely with the little hats we made, and we hope you enjoyed making them along with us this week. We will see you soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye, everybody! Hey everyone, Mr. and Stitches here. You're listening to Smooth Christmas Jazz in the Crafter. Here are some more Christmas tutorials you may enjoy. Thank you for watching today, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe out there.